most important thing that God is doing in our lives is the local church. The local church is not perfect, but God, the God who invented the local churches even from the beginning in the book of Acts is perfect. God has placed us in a local church like ours with a purpose. It's not an accident. It's not a, it's not a chance. It is intentional. Come right here. I believe that the local church like ours, like other local churches, will help every believer to become organizedly doing whatever the cost that God has laid in our lives. I want you to just continue to be part of our local church. Just, just blend in. Just blend in to what God is doing in our church. Because it's not the church on Sunday and it's another thing in your life on other days. No, it's not. Not word that way. God has designed a local church, all the local churches in the world, like ours, to work together as a team. I want you to just pray to the Lord and say, Lord, what do you want me to do for me to grow through my local church? As your pastor, I would like to tell you that. We have instantly, prayerfully, do everything that we can do just for, for, for this church of our class, ours, to be able to serve, to serve you, for you brought in Jesus Christ. I want you to just plant in, just find some time, just pray to the Lord, Lord give me Lord God the time. I know it's, it's a sacrifice, Lord God. I want Lord God to be part of what you are planning to do in my life through the church. So, I would like to pray a short prayer this time in response to the, to the word of God. If you are new today, I would, I would encourage you to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Not this church. This church cannot save you. But I would like to tell you that you can be helped through this church to grow in Him. By not living just a simple life, an ordinary, ordinary life, like like a day-to-day -day -day life in the world. No, it's not like that. It's a life with the saints. We are not living a community, or we are not living in a community, but we are living in one spirit. So we work together. We, we pray. We, we, we plan. We, we give in order for us to be able to do what we can do for the church as the Lord has led us to do. So I would like to challenge you if you are a new believer or if you are uh, a visitor today, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Ask for forgiveness from Him. He's going to heal a part of you and save you. He is the only Savior, not this church, but He built the church like our church to help you to grow not like to grow the same as other people outside, but you grow as a believer that God has designed you to be. Hallelujah. So let me pray this time. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray right now for everyone who is here, Lord God. For those who are visitors, Lord God, thank you for you said in your word that you not at the doors of our hearts, Lord God. And if anyone hears my clear voice and opens the door, you will come into them, Lord God. Lord, today, if they will receive you and ask for forgiveness, Lord, you promise that you will make them to become your children. And Lord God, we also pray that our local church, this is your body, Lord God, in a, in a local situation, in a local setting, oh God, will be able, Lord God, may this 
be able to help a few convert and all of us for that matter, oh God, to help one another, oh God, to plan to be organized for Jesus, to do your will, oh God, as a church, so that we will be fed properly, oh God, so that we will be guided properly, oh Jesus, and we will grow along the journey that you have given us, oh God. For we know that along the way, some will fall in their, from their faith, oh God. But Lord, we know that you will give us that anointing. You will give us the wisdom for God in what to do so that we will be able to help the friend here of God. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will open our eyes. You will open our hearts, O oh Lord, to really serve you, to really be your disciple of God. Help us, O oh God, for we know that that's the most important thing in life, O oh God, our life with you for eternity. Lord, we commit to you ourselves. Bless your people now. Bless every family that we represent. Oh God. Bless, O oh Lord, every individual that is here, who is here today. We pray, O oh God, that you are going to allow us, Lord, to see a breakthrough in our spiritual lives, O oh Lord God. As individuals and as a church, O oh Lord God, together, we will see, O oh God, your hand moving in a mighty way. Thank you, God, for your word. For we know that your word will not go back to you without any use. Thank you, Lord God, that your word is powerful. It is life. So, Lord God, bless all your people. Help us, Lord, not to depend only on ourselves, Lord God. For we know that we are weak and limited in our ways. Help us, Lord God, to depend on you, Lord. Depend on your institutions, Lord God. Depend on what you are going to do with the local church, Lord God. Depend, on oh God, in what you are going to do in each individual as to work together as a local church. We praise you once again and we commit to you ourselves. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the truth of the importance of being your disciples to you. This we pray and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give you a hand of praise. For the wonderful lessons today, you do not take your seat in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful message. Amen? Amen. Disciple. A disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, I believe that we are also disciplined people. Amen? And you know what the disciple of Jesus Christ on? Disciplined people. We are disciplined in every way. Disciplined in our prayer, in our Reading the Word of God, disciplining, obeying the Word of God, disciplining in coming to church, amen? Because we are His disciples, amen, praise God. So we're so glad to be in the house of God. There's no other place than to be in the presence of the Lord. So we thank the Lord that today we can come together and just worship Him, honor Him in, in, in this congregation. So I want to request those of you who came here for the first time, today kita visita, Ana. Mayroon ba tayong mga bisita? We would like to acknowledge you. May bisita? Uh, mayroon second timer. Yung visitor nila, mother and sister Ite. We are happy to have her again with us today. Praise the Lord. Uh, Who did you hear me? Your brother says so. Praise God. Diyan eh ba? Praise God. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to be in the house of the Lord. It's always wonderful to be in the house of the Lord. So. Uh, just shake the hands of your sister or your brother next to you and say good morning and happy to see you this morning. I'm happy to see you. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord that we, this is one of our expressions that we love the Lord. Expression that we, we love the Lord and we obey His word. It says, Forsake not the assembly of yourselves together. Amen. Let's give God another hand of praise for His great love for all of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord today for our tithes and our offering and may I request. Uh, dear sister, Sister Martha, to please come and challenge the people of God to be blessed. The Lord bless you. Hello. Hi. 
lumumpat sa tanahan. Ganda po nga po sa lahat. Oras na naman po para ibalik natin ang ating mga tithes at ibigay natin ang ating mga offerings sa ating Panginoon. Kasama po ang mission. Amen po ba? Masaya po ba ang lahat kasi giving na? Amen! Amen. Praise the Lord. Bago po tayo tumako sa giving, gusto ko lang po pasalamatan ng ating Panginoon sa ginawa niya sa akin. Kasi po, one year ako, diabetic po ako, one year ako hindi dapat sila kasi takot ako, baka mataas ang sugar ko. Ang uric acid po, pati creatin niyo po. Ngayon, pinipinit ako ng mister ko na magpacheck up. Last two weeks ago, nagpacheck up ako. Purihin ang Panginoon, ang sugar ko normal, ang uric acid ko normal. Ang creatin niyo po na 198, ngayon po 154 na lang. Purihin ang Panginoon sa Panginoon sa Panginoon. Ngayon po, hindi lang po ako i-share sa inyo. Simple instruction po tungkol sa giving sa ating Panginoon. Simple lang po ito. Sa Luke 6.38, sabi niya, giving and it shall be given unto you. Magbigay po tayo at babalik niya sa atin. Iglas tayo ng Panginoon na sa Tagalog 6.6 million umaapaw. Ayaw niyo ba yun? Ayaw niyo ang 6.6 million babalik ng Panginoon ang ating blessing? Magsabi kayo ng malakas na Amen. 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 <laughs> Ang pangalawa po sa 2 Corinthians, the Lord, the Lord love is a cheerful giver. Kailangan po magbigay tayo ng may masayang puso. Amen po ba? Amen. Sa Deuteronomy 16-17, according to income, hindi naman po umihigay ng Panginoon ng sobra-sobra. Ang ang kailangan lang po ng ating Panginoon, 10% sa income natin. Basta inigay po natin yun, huwag lang kulang. Kasi baka po kulang din ang inigay niya sa, sa atin. Hindi po ba? Ayun po, gusto kong tawagan ng mga assers para gunin ang ating mga tayo sa mga tayo. Sa kawang ito, Panginoon, ay sama-sama kaming magbigay sa 
kayo sa inyong pamulyang kapan ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen.